Hi everyone, happy, happy Monday to you all. It's a fun day here at Makers Gonna Learn. We're making a fun project and I think you all are really excited about it. Uh Based we have on lots, how many people we already have here. Becca, yes. lots of friends joining in to see all about this. They are dying for everything. Um, and we are actually going to be announcing our amazing giveaway winner today. Yeah. Um, as well from last Monday. So welcome everyone. Yeah, so last Monday we um, said that we were going to give away a year member or a year gift card. Yeah, it's a membership. little gift. For Illustrator um, because we have relaunched our amazing Yay. design Excel program and want to encourage you all to use the Illustrator program. Um, and so we're announcing that today. That's yeah, super so we'll fun. have that here momentarily. I'm yes. pulling up that winner. I'm super excited. I want to know who here has used sublimation on wood before. That is what we're doing today. We're actually doing a couple of different things. We're going to manipulate some cut files. So this is really exciting. Um, but we're also going to be doing sublimation on wood. And when this idea was first presented to me, I was like, no way, it's not going to work can't work or if it works it will be so muted that it's not like cute right i'm obsessed when becca brought the well she had it i walk into the office and she's like oh it was just like a casual like just sublimating on wood i'm like what Yes. How does it, I mean, I guess we don't wash the wood. I, right? Yeah, well, and I don't know. I haven't even tested, like, if it were like, to get wet, what would yeah, happen? Yeah, what would happen? Transfer? It's a chemical reaction. Well, it's a transfer. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I think even, like, we could seal it, maybe, and then that would prevent any fading if it were so. outside, not fading running. If it were okay. outside, I don't know. Um, but I'm super excited. Raise his hands, but not great. Okay, Beth. My goodness, you're so you're so crafty. You can do anything though. Um, hi from the UK. Hello, hello. My cricket eats wood. Yes, sometimes that is an issue. Uh, we are going to be cutting a little bit um, of wood today. I'm a little bit. Uh, well, preface. If you guys watched the the live with Tanner, when did we do that? It was one? Oh, two Fridays ago. The Halloween one? Oh, that was just last Friday. Friday. <laughs> that was Friday. Seems like a long time ago. <laughs> anyway, uh, we started cutting something out before we did anything in Design Space, and that's what we're doing today, too, because we want to use our knife blade more. That's one thing that you all have requested, more projects with knife blade. Um, the, the downfall for doing them on a live is that they take a long time. So we're kind of doing things backward, but it's fine. We'll still get to every bit of it. Yes. Um, so we have so many friends here. Sorry to cut you no, off. No, cut me off. Jacqueline. Absolutely. Raymond, um, so many friends, Kat, LSW, Brenda, Stacy. Um, we have a lot of friends here just so excited to learn about this project. So go ahead and what, share with us what you've, what you've got. Um, so, well, What's first I want to talk about our cell that we have going on. Yes, we had a comment yes. asking, like, can we talk about what this Flash 30 even looks like? Yes. So the Flash 30 is basically the best deal you can yeah. yeah, it's very close to our best deal of the year. Yes, um, it's super fantastic to be able to start crafting today. Today, um, today fall. you get access to our entire library of craft files and fonts and all the courses that we have to offer. But the really cool thing about our membership is that you get unlimited downloads of all of our cut files and fonts. Um, and you have lifetime access to them as long as like, for instance, if you download these cut files onto your computer, you'll have them forever, yes. um, which is something different from other memberships. Cricket. For sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, so I want to invite you all to use the flat or the coupon code flash 30. That's flash three zero at checkout. So you can take advantage of this amazing savings. Yes. Um, download the cut files that we're using today and make this project today. Yeah, you're going to have so much fun. If you've never made a sublimation project, like, what a great one to start with. It's so fun to hear Tanner's voice coming from nowhere, <laughs> so Beth says. Yes. It's so different for me. I'm like, whoo, It's Lord. interesting, yes. It's a lot of fun, though. Um, okay, so what I want to do first is prepare our wood. I want to talk to you a little bit about that. Um, and the way that you do this is very similar to chipboard. So if you have used chipboard before, especially the, the thicker chipboards like the 2.0, um, then you already are sort of a step ahead of everyone else. So this is a Cricut Basswood. You can cut this out with your maker. If you have the Explorer series, um, unfortunately, you do have to use the knife blade um, to cut this out. So you cannot cut this particular thing out with the Explorer series. However, 
there are some workarounds. Cricut makes a, an amazing product called uh, veneer. You could use that. Um, cut it out of one and kind of still have the same look. However, um, it bows a little bit when you add heat to it, so be careful with that. I do want to just go ahead and preface that. Um, but you can cut this. I don't love the price of it. I'm going to be 100% honest. Yeah. Let's talk about the price That's, for a little bit. Let's... Actually didn't have it on here unfortunately let's get real it's not it's something that's practical for like a lot of projects correct. like if you're going to be making and selling this is probably not gonna be a product that is like sustainable true to and, keep profits and also because it takes so long to cut if you only There's have a lot one of machine issues. it takes up a lot of productivity time would you and not one say thing, that and one thing i like to talk about like when we're talking knife blade versus regular blade here my friends is that you'll notice that the accuracy is not near um, perfect like that fine point blade with vinyl. Like you just have to have different expectations when working with this. Mm -hmm. um, and that's like my favorite thing to say. Like, of course, like price is definitely an issue. Um, right. Uh, on top of, hey, it's not actually able to cut perfectly as it's thicker material um, and wood is a lot harder to work with than paper. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so this actually, um, if you're looking at it and notice that it's a paper studio mat, this is actually a light grit mat, but um, it is so sticky. I don't know what has happened with it. I would say, honestly, it's oh, almost snap. like a strong grip. So that's snap. why I'm using it. You're going to want to use a strong grip mat uh, with your wood and then you want to, you can actually braid down to yeah. just a... Becca, I also want to give you a little heads up here. I'm doing a little things different today behind the camera. Oh yeah, let's hear it. You are actually in the corner and... <laughs> here, I'll turn it around so you can see. Are you kidding me? How no. did you do that? You know, there's buttons for that. Tanner. So you can actually look at them and, and talk and craft. Like, oh, is that this. not cool? So why have we not figured this out? See, this is great that you're behind the camera right <laughs> We're now. just having fun. This it's... is amazing. <laughs> I've been wanting to test it out, yes. so I love no, it. We've actually had requests for that. I know. So that's super know. exciting. Yay. Now we just need one on you so they can see you. I'll go in the other corner. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just everyone. Anyway. I just felt like I would do you a disservice by the end of the live showing you that. So I, I, would, <laughs> I just wanted to give you the heads up. Thank you. Thank you. You just never know what's mm -hmm. going to be on my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought about that after I did it. Thank you. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay. So anyway, I'm grabbing some masking tape here and then I'm also going to tape this down just to add some extra stick we don't want this moving around these cut times take forever um, before you all ask if you run your Cricut on an iOS device like your um, like your iPad, iPhone, iPad or your phone, Android you cannot unfortunately use the knife blade even if you have a maker you cannot use the knife blade to cut wood with those devices and the reason is that it's a bluetooth connectivity which is mm -hmm. not as reliable as just plugging her in uh, with the usb and then also um it, if your device were to like die because yeah. the battery died or something like that then um there's that issue as well but anyway. so definitely use laptop desktop anything like yes, that yes yes so we do have it taped down here and then we are just going to go ahead and load it i don't have any material settings set yet so it won't let me that's one thing i don't love i do not love that i want to be able to prepare it load her right in yeah yes. i want to be able to prepare it okay so really quickly I am going, I'm not going to tell you any of this. I'm just going to hit the, the go button. Um, I have you on the computer screen. Fantastic. So you can just walk through like getting anything that okay, you, so, you feel like you need to share right now. Yes. I'll share how we are manipulating the cut file and all that in just a second. I do want to just get this started because it will take a while. So I'm going to select that. I'm cutting on a map and then I'm going to go find, oh wow. Look at all these mats here. Right this right here um do want to point out that my wheels are all the way over too but we'll go over there in just a second i'm going to press continue and i am going to connect to my machine yay and then select the material setting i right wish you here. could just load it without having to I do know. this 
It's annoying. So Debbie says, will the tape goof up the cut? So Debbie, I want to clarify that while Beck is getting this Please ready. Do. Yes. Um, it's actually, it can cut through that masking uh, tape really well. And I've never had it damage anything. You just want to make sure to remove it when you're done. But as another like added tip and trick, you're on the computer or you're on the, the Cricut cam. Um, we like to kind of move our image over a little so it's not all the way over to the edge due to the grip. Like right. obviously if you're super close to the edge, um, it can mess it up. So um, you may have seen I'm loading my knife blade here into clamp A and then we can go ahead and load the mat. We'll press the flashing start button as soon as it allows us to and then kind of start our project yeah yeah so becca added that blade it's super easy to just pop it into that clamp b yes and it's super yes. simple to just to trade those out like anyone could do that again friends if you are just popping in this project um is only compatible with the maker, the maker because series. of the knife blade need okay yes so i'm going to go ahead and let this cut and then we can run back to design space and i want to show you something did you all know that just because you have a project cutting right here you're not limited you can go still do more design work i'm going to show you really show quickly. us the hack this yeah. is a breakthrough this was used to not be if for a newbie this is a big deal because you can now have multiple projects going on at once if I you have multiple this machines yes it's kind of new so now what we're going to do is press file new window Woohoo! and a brand new cricut window will pop up and we can do a little bit of design work here okay so i have this project saved already and we're using several cut files here now there's a lot of cut files that maker's going to learn mm -hmm. so if you become a year member today you're going to get access to all of these cut files that are available here so just take that into consideration that you know we had people saying i didn't know you all did sublimation you know maker's going to learn is for all crafters so you can totally you know take full advantage of that um, and this sale is fantastic for you guys to get started. You pay the you pay for a whole year up front, but you actually get the most out of your membership and pay the least over the course of a year. And it looks like we're having some interesting um, information happening, yes. Becca. What's happening um, over here? We have a flashing red button. We like to call that the flashing button of death around here. <laughs> um, and the only way really to get it to stop doing that is to restart the cricket. And that's totally fine. So mm -hmm. this is part of the fun of being live with you guys yes. is to let you all know what we do when things go wrong. So, unfortunately, if I were to load this back into the Cricut right now and not move my cut file around, there's a huge chance that it would not cut on the lines that have already been cut. So, we're going to have to move our cut file down so that yeah. we don't accidentally over cut. That's a good right? point. So, it's already cut a little and then we got that flashing um, little like, hey, something's up. So, just to let you all know what is kind of happening. Yes. Um, so this honestly could be a lot of different things. Um, before I just start recutting, I want to just take my blade out, make sure that I have it inserted very well. I want to kind of that. inspect my machine and make sure that there's nothing stuck like underneath. I'm going to have to walk around. Yeah. They're on the cricket camp. So just watch Becca. Amazing. She's just making sure that there's nothing like holding back the, the mat from moving properly. She already checked the blade to make sure there's nothing like holding back the blade from doing its ability um, and things like that. So, so now yeah. I just want to move my cut file down a bit. So Let's she's just going to take a look at that cut file. So see what she's doing over here, guys. She's just kind of moving it down. Right really down helpful. there. We'll press continue and then we will try this again. <laughs> Yay! Um, and to recap, the reason she moved it down was because it already cut like one or two passes. So that is, um, you know, a lot of fun. So just moved it down. So we're going to make sure we get an amazing um, cut. Real life crafting with you all, friends. We are not um, bashful around here. Oh, not no. Loving the knife blade for this particular yeah. thing. However, um, it's part of it. So for sure. Let's see here. So it's measuring the mat. It's good to make sure that everything's good. Everyone's loving the sweatshirt. Guys, make your yes! own Maker's Gonna Learn merch. Yes. We have all, because you all requested them so much, the MGL logos, if you did not know, are available on the website. Yes. So grab those, gr um, make a mug, make a shirt, make a hat, make Heck a tote yeah. bag, whatever you want. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So fingers crossed, dear Lord, please help us. <laughs> yes, this. the prayers. This is cutting again. <laughs> and then we're going to go back to our other window here. If I can find her here. Yes. And this um, is part of the fun. Like we'll you can have multiple things going on. 
So that's fun. Yes. Okay. Let's try this again. Yay! Tanner, did you know, you know how we have our projects sorted? So if you look under yes. my projects, over to the left, you can have collections here. Did you know you can only have five collections? That's a little upsetting. I know. I can think of so many categories. Christmas. Fall. Exactly. Cards. Car oh yeah. my word. Yeah. And one thing I want to let everyone know about today is that if you are thinking about becoming a member and one of the hesitations could be like, well, I have to upload every cut fall to Design Space. Like we're up front, like you have to download it from our site and upload it. If you go to that upload library, Becca, once they upload it to their library one time, they have it forever. And like, if you're intentional about how you title things, then it you will can be search. very easy to search for it. Yes. We are now having the flashing cricket button again. Okay. Um, do we have do we have it cut out? We already have it cut out, so I think we're going to move forward. I think so. Mm -hmm. yes. well, I love the the trial. I tried, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're giving your all for makers gonna learn today, Becca. So, the cricket may not be, yeah, but you that's are. True. That's true. <laughs> the devil is playing with the church's money, it Debbie. Ugh. I'm very glad that I had something prior to this, though. <laughs> you just never know. Yeah. You never know. Okay. <laughs> so we are using some fun cut files today. We have our mandala cut file. It's our pumpkin mandala cut file and uh, we actually released an entire collection of mandala uh, type cut files we love it um but i've been using this one like crazy as a template to make other pumpkins so you can see here this has like all the fun squigglies here and this one does not because i manipulated the cut file Neat. um this is something that we kind of touch on a little bit in our design make sell course here at makers gonna learn so if you love manipulating cut files you're and you feel like it. you're limited in design space like you definitely want to consider learning Illustrator with Ms. Becca yes. because she will walk with you every step of the way. Well, and for a couple of reasons, you're pretty limited sometimes, especially when you get in the sublimation world with Design Space because um, Design Space limits your sizes, especially with print and cut. And that's the only way that you could do sublimation in Design Space is with print and cut. So um, that's why I prefer to use Illustrator or um, if you wanted to, you could use Inkscape or Canva or something like yeah. that to create your file. Yeah, we had a question earlier, you know, we're on the topic of sublimation, Becca, I'm gonna go just to you real quick. Okay. Um, what is your favorite, uh, aside from design space for sublimation, what software do you find yourself in to manipulate everything? That's a great question. Illustrator, hands down, I love Illustrator for for manipulating cut That's files. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. It's really easy to change colors, to save, uh, you know, as different file types yeah. um, and to manipulate. So I'm going to show you how you can man man manipulate it in Design Space though. Okay, so we have our awesome Mandala cut file here and I'm only going to be using this top layer. So I'm just going to delete the other ones here. Delete those Select them out. and press delete on Done. the keyboard. Done. Then what I want to do is grab a basic shape right here in design space we can size it up here and then i want to right click on this top layer of the mandala and press send to front just like this love it then what i'm going to do is layer on top select both of these layers by dragging and dropping and then i'm going to go down to the bottom right hand corner where it says slice and i'm going to slice slice is a fancy word for cut we also like to say that it's sort of like um a cookie cutter yeah yeah. yeah, it's like a cookie cutter. You're just pressing it through. And there's many different ways to get to this. So you may be saying, Tanner and Becca, what the heck? Like, I always go through, see how she's pulled up contour. Uh -huh. You could have just contoured and reversed I it. I could have, yes. This is another great way to do it. So either way you're doing this is fantastic. Like, who, whichever way, there is not a wrong way to get to the same um, step that we're going to exactly. get at. Exactly. And look at this. This is... <laughs> So I keep doing the, the same day. thing. I hate trying to figure out which one Me is which here. Me too. Oh my goodness. So notice contour, like you press different layers and that allows it to appear or disappear. Um, so you want to be, you know, just think, thinking of how you could use this with your different layers. Okay, Tanner, which would you put? Why is this doing this? Okay, you know what? Let's go back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The, for some reason, it really... I followed along with every step that you just did, and I would not have done anything different. Right? I mean, didn't I choose through. all of them? Yeah. Okay, so the But it other... actually should have cut out I, Right? Instead pumpkin. of... I know. 
I think Design Space is a little glitchy here today, but it's okay. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot. Yeah, we're, so we're where I left it. that gray border around, I'm just going to make it bigger and love slice that. This way. <gasps> yes, smart. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now we'll delete these layers that we don't need right here. Just like that. Ta -da! Fantastic. Okay, now you can decide if you want to keep these little curly cues or if you want to slice them off. I wanted it more simple, so I'm going to slice them off. So what I want to do is zoom in so that I can see what I'm doing really well. Grab another basic shape, and let's change the color of it so that we can see the difference between the two. Love that. And then I want to just size this down just a little bit and kind of angle it a tiny bit because what I want to do is line this mm -hmm. up right here with the stem just like this and forgive me i do have some lights in my eyes so i'm i'm hoping <laughs> Take your time. that i'm getting it really good here if you guys have ever if you ever come to the studio you will know we probably have at least seven lots on becca right now <laughs> so it is very broad on the that's one of the things that i always talk about with why we don't have a light pad or anything like yes. we, we're lit like we are good yeah, we do not. yes absolutely <laughs> so i'm going to line that up right there because i want to slice that off and then i want to duplicate this one and kind of bring it over here oh. to this side so that we can also cover up a portion of this like this and then because you can only slice with two layers at a time mm -hmm. I want to just weld these two pieces together really quick Whoa. so now I have two layers that I'm welding yep. into one and then Pick I can select both of them both of the layers just like this and now I can slice and I'll delete these pieces that I don't need over here. I'm just clicking and pressing delete on my keyboard. And then again, I can press contour. Love that. And come clean it in, up. clean up these pieces right here. And I really want to point out something, like Becca, that. that you did that I think like what could set your set you different from like a pro crafter. I'm going to go to you again. Okay. Um, from a pro crafter to, um, you know, up from a beginner. I want, what I want everyone to see here is Becca focused on the layers panel. The layers panel is what she used as the guide. Yeah. And I really, I really just love that. So. I think it's easier to see. It is. It's yes, a lot more. Trying to get. And, and another part of it is that's what you use in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. So you really yeah. get to focus in on that. So a skill that you can learn in Cricut, you can apply over to Illustrator and too. That's actually, I really love that you brought that up because a lot of our friends um, who are thinking about cut file design, the thought of learning a new software is a little bit daunting to them. And while I'll say there are lots of other options in Illustrator, a lot of the techniques um, are, are still there. They may be named something a little bit different, yep. but they're still there. So like, where we weld here, it may be called merge or unite Love in Illustrator. That. So things like that, slice and and all of those. So yeah. if you have a basic understanding of how to use design yes. software, then you can learn Illustrator, yeah. especially it's with our help from Design for Excel. Sure. Yeah. Now yeah. we had some friends talking about Design Excel. We yes. did update the program. So it is a brand new focused and hopper focused, actually between Procreate and Illustrator are the two programs we teach in there. Yes. Um, it's fantastic. And you can join today for as low as $115.50, and you'll have Becca's designing and my selling modules all together. Yes. Um, so that's fantastic. And membership is available for Flash 30. Those are two very different things that just so happen to overlap with our promotions. Yes, and if you have specific questions about either one, feel free yes, to ask us. We would us love know. to talk about that with you if you are new here and don't even know what we're about. We yeah. want to do that for you. Okay, so back over in Design Space, we have our amazing pumpkin here that is already um, cut out. It's ready to go. You just would need to size it to whatever size you want. And then this Hello Fall is also a cut file. It is so cute. I think this is a Mary Catherine. I think so. Who taught our pro yeah. yeah. uh, classes She's and design awesome. Excel. She will be live with us on Wednesday, yes, my friends. So I do not wait. miss out. This Wednesday, right? This Wednesday at 1.30. Yes. So exciting. Definitely be there for that. Um, so we have that. And then what you would want to do with that file is just send it to the front here because right now it is behind the pumpkin cut file. So we're going to move forward. And then, oop send to front and then you just want to place it on top of your pumpkin once your pumpkin is sized and size it i honestly think that looks pretty good there um, but we could zoom in and just make sure 
Um, and then what we want to do is grab this fun plaid pattern. Now this Love pattern. the plaid pattern. Yes. I did this specifically because we have a couple of plaid cut files that are set in color. So they're saved as a PNG and then you can upload them. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a file that you can change the colors however you want. So if you wanted a spring looking plaid or if you wanted fall looking plaid, you're absolutely able to do that. And then if this one is like too busy, then get rid of some of the layers. Yeah. So you can just get rid of those layers by by just deleting some of them. I'm going to click on the layer panel right here and press delete, and you can see it's kind of simplified it a little. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see here. Let's do this one too, and I think that looks pretty good um, just with those three layers. But what I want to do is just recolor them. So one thing that I love to teach people is if you are going through um, looking at Instagram or Facebook or anything visual and see a picture where the colors are just very captivating to you screenshot that picture screenshot it save it on your computer and then we teach a class in design Excel Love it. where you create your own color palettes yeah so that you can use them later by like importing them here into design space like i've done here and then i can color sync my cut files to match this color palette that i've created to do that it's very easy yeah one i can select the layers that i have here and then come up where this color uh, option is and then every svg layer that's in design space is represented color wise up here yeah so that's amazing so you can select it that way or you can come to color sync right here that's one of my favorites uh -huh. i love this feature and then drag and drop each layer uh, until you like what you've got so i'm going to put this one kind of like in a mustard color um, this one can be our green color and then we'll make this one um, a red or blue or whatever i think that looks really good love that just leave it now what you need to do you can delete this color palette because you don't need it anymore and if you delete it it doesn't affect the the layers yes, that you've the colors changed. are still there yes. <gasps> I love so that's that. super fun now what i want to do all of these are still cut files so i want to select all of the layers go to the bottom right hand corner oh before you do that yeah. could you switch over to the layers panel oh, just yes. for our friends that want to see kind of the importance mm -hmm. of the layers panel so let's I'm watch Miss becca that. as she goes through and flattens this this is a great visual for all our friends that may be struggling with mastering why the layers panel is so important just follow just or keep even, your eyes peeled to the or layers. even the difference between just like a basic cut true and yes. a, a printing cut so you yes. can see right now these three layers say basic cut so we'll cut them out individually once i select them see all of them are selected right there I get click happy over they here. They get a little dark gray. Mm -hmm. Then you can come down to the bottom where it says flatten and watch. When I press flatten, it changes from three layers that say basic cut to one layer that says flatten, print and cut. Amazing. And you can see right here, um, my file is really large. It's 11.5 by 14.5 and thank goodness design space reminds you over and over again <laughs> what they will actually allow you to they used to not out. do that they, so yeah. praise the lord yes and i could never remember if it was 6.25 by 9.75 or the opposite until like i mean yeah i know it now <laughs> but it tells you anyway so um what you want to do is just size this so that it will cover your entire pumpkin. Now, um, if you're doing it all in design space, you do need to be careful um, to size it down so that you can cut with, um, with design space in those restrictions. So 6.75 by 9.25. So it's gonna be a little bit smaller, kind of like this. Um, and then we can delete this, we don't need it. Then what we want to do, since I do have all this prepared, I am just gonna go ahead and click make it and kind of show you what it would look like. Um, the one that I'm making today is larger because I did it in Illustrator instead of this. Um, so FYI, if you're looking at mine thinking, hers looks bigger than print and cut standard, that's because it is. Uh, anyway, what I would do is go ahead and click make it. And then I'm going to select that I am going to be cutting on the mat. I'll press done. And then you're going to have um, two different 
cut settings because this pumpkin and this right here are both cut out of wood. I could have changed the color of them so that they cut out on the same mat. Um, the other thing that I can do at this point, if I don't wanna cancel my cut, I can click this three dot button right here and then press move object. And then I can select it to be on the same mat as my pumpkin since it would have been cut out of the same material. Love it. And I just move it where I want, where it will um, take up or where it should cut on the mat. Mm -hmm. And I eliminate a whole mat, which is nice. Now we have print and cut. So what I'm going to do, um, if you are using an image that is not symmetric from left to right or up to down, like if it were a picture of a dog or something or words that need to be in a specific order, then I would need to mirror my image because sublimation has to be mirrored. But since this right here doesn't matter <laughs> left to right or up to down, I'm not going to mirror it. <laughs> now what I will do is press continue and I want to send to my printer. Now, um, I don't need to add bleed on this because I'm not going to be, uh, it, it won't matter. There's extra all around my pumpkin. Um, so I can just turn that off if I want to. But one thing that I do love to stress when we are doing print and cut projects is to click this use system dialog box. Because when I do that, press print, underneath design space, the system dialog box pops up right here and then I can increase my print quality from normal to best and when you're doing sublimation you want your print quality to be the best yeah you don't want any lines through it you want the colors to be really uh, true and then one other thing depending on what type of printer you're using um, if you're using one that that feeds from the rear then you can go ahead and select rear tray however yours is set up go ahead and select that and then press print I have already printed mine out uh, we're also going to be doing a fun test today because, Ooh, yes, did you know this? I did, may um, not know. I have been told that if you print out sublimation sheets and don't use them within 24 hours, that it's not as vibrant. Have you heard this? Yes, okay. I, I do see the value. I printed this out three weeks ago, so we're going to do a test. <laughs> we're going to do a test. Well, we are going to find out for sure, it's Becca. It's going to be fun. It's We're going to find fun. out for yes. sure. But before I jump over, are we still on this computer right here? We are. Okay. I want to show you our amazing membership. I think this is the page that I want. Yes, yes. it is. So if you are, I want to know who, what does bleed mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted. Let's, no, let's answer it. What, what does, does bleed, bleed mean? mean? Lisa, that's an amazing question. So if you are, where's my computer? Can you do this one right here? Yeah. See all these fun stickers on my computer. If I were printing one of these out and say this right here did not have this white border around it. This peanut butter file doesn't have the white border around it. I might want to click add bleed because what, what happens is the computer or the printer automatically prints a little bit more of the color outside of your actual image so that when your machine goes to cut, if it's not properly calibrated, you're not going to have white over here, but not white over here. It's kind of like a little safety for your yes. printer and yes. Cricut as they have to be a little duo. Yes. So um, if you all don't know about calibrating your machine, check out our YouTube channel. We have lots of videos showing how yes. to do that. Knife blade, rotary blade, fine point blade, check out that. Um, but when I'm creating stickers, I for one love to do an offset like this because it gives you even more wiggle room than just Yeah, I love that. Great now, question. Karen already has brought up, like, she's never had problems with pre-printed um, sublimation Some sheets. sheets. Uh, that's so fantastic to hear. So we will see. Well, I wonder because sometimes people who don't have these systems will purchase um, sublimation sheets from, like, yeah. providers, yeah. Um, shops, and then they'll get them in. So I was like, there has to be some wiggle room there. Right. Aaliyah yeah. says weeks. Mine have laid around weeks. This is great. Yeah. Then it's going to be it's gonna be perfect. perfect. Right? <laughs> I love that. Okay. So back over to our amazing membership. If we have any newbies here, I did want to just chat for a second, welcome you all, and let you know that we are extending an amazing offer to you to grab our membership and join this amazing community at $30 off. That's our yearly membership. And our annual membership is the best valued membership. You can see right here, the breakdown the breakdown now it is billed annually, but the breakdown would be $15.99 a month. Now, Tanner, I personally spend more than that in yeah. like four days on coffee. So we'll Becca, say three it's, days so actually. It's 40, it's 42 cents a day per day. Being a year member yes. where you're getting new releases um, almost every week, three weeks out of the mm -hmm. month. 
um, with new challenges, our Facebook community. I mean, if you scroll down just a little, you'll see all the added benefits and you pay the least amount. Yes. So we love our year membership. I always like to share that over 70 to 75% of our full community is an annual membership and yes. there's an intentional reason why you pay the least amount and you get the most yes. so today on top of that uh flash 30 which is your special promo um every day price you save um i believe it's thirty dollars so you're right about a seventy dollars roundabout savings mm -hmm. when you go yearly versus monthly so we love that that's amazing yes i love that breakdown and i love kind of the visual i love having a visual right here just yeah. to see oh that is very affordable yes um and one thing that i love about our membership is the inspiration that it offers to crafters and the motivation as well so we have a lot of friends who um will purchase their cricket and not open it for a long time because they're unbelievable a bit scared yeah what Maker's Gonna Learn is designed, Maker's Gonna Learn is designed to do is walk hand in hand with you yes. so that you don't have to feel frustrated and overwhelmed and confused and reluctant to, to open your machine and get crafted. Yeah, so. it's one of the only memberships, and we intentionally did this from the beginning, was that we can work as the crafter, we can work with the designers to make great cut falls. Yes. Um, so it's a it's all in one, which we really like. Yes. The, you know, the cut falls and everything. So what you're going to want to do is just click that button, that join now button. And when this link pops up, oh, that's, just click remove. That is not what I want. Or maybe I do want that. <laughs> maybe you do. Maybe so I do. You can get, um, if Design Makes Sell Pros out of your budget, you can get just design or just, or just sell. sell yes. So that is an opportunity mm -hmm. today as well. But for the annual membership, I will remove <laughs> this um, so that we can see how easy it is to add the coupon code FLASH30, just like this. Love Once that. you do that, it automatically removes that $30 from the price. You will love insert it. your information and we will get you hooked up with yes. the membership. Yes, Melissa says, yeah. love my yearly membership. Love my annual membership, so worth the money. Just joined on 9-11, the year membership, and I have no regrets. Welcome, 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 yes, all our new members. Yes, we are so grateful to have you If you here. have a membership, go ahead and drop us an emoji. Let other friends, as well as us, know that you, you have your membership. So yes. that's so much fun. Yes. Okay, so let's get to crafting. We have we have a little bit of stuff to do here. Oh, there's a, well, I mean, everybody's here to see the magic. Yes. Like, let's get real. Yes. This is the magic. We're ready to see it. So I'm what ready I'm going to do it. first is paint these lovely letters. These have been cut out and I want to just paint them a fun fall color. This is not the same color um, as this one. We're gonna change things up a little bit, but this is our end product here. Look, Look at that. Look cute. Uh. Uh, so stinking cute. And then what I want to do, this is one of Tanner's hacks that he has shared with me and I love doing <laughs> it, is to put a little bit of paint in the lid right here. It's so good. That, um, there may actually be enough in there already. Let me shake it down. We gotta get yeah. some more fall colors in here. We've yeah, used we used them do. all. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. Um, anyway, shake a little bit of paint into the lid. That way you don't have to have a bowl or plate or anything like that. Yeah, look at that. And then we're just going to just paint here. This is, for those of you asking, just deco art. Um, burnt sienna so it's going to kind of be like a red brown which I think will be really pretty with these colors that we've chosen but you make whatever color palette color selection that you want um, I want to encourage you to think outside the box because you all know that I love color here Becca mm -hmm. I've already asked her is she walking with color into 2022 and my answer is absolutely yes so my new year's that. resolution for 2021 I when I bought the house that I'm in now, um, I sort of fell into the whole um, really neutral farmhouse. Which we type. fully support here. 100%. 100%. I do love it. But quickly realized that that just wasn't me. Yeah. It's not me. And you should be happy in your home. Uh, you should feel comfortable. You should be inspired when you're in your home, especially if you work in your home like I do sometimes. Right. You definitely want oh my goodness. to be inspired. 100%. So I was like, I'm going to add color to my life. And Becca aspect. went hard, like, mm -hmm. from January 1, she has been dedicated. And, like, I have not seen you lose any of the motivation to no. add color. It's just more and more. If nothing, I've become more obnoxious with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I you're getting color. even more comfortable. I love it. Yes. Anyway, so my thought process is I don't, for my home, don't love fall colors. They're not bright enough for me. And I have recently found some really fun um fall decor that has more color in it yeah in fact spoiler alert 
our October craft challenge <gasps> is going to include a little bit of color in fall. Oh, snap. Just just my version. You all don't have to do that version. But Love it. Um, if you don't know, we do an amazing craft challenge every single month here at Makers Gonna Learn. Yay. It inspires people and gets people excited to craft and share with others so that they can be inspired too. Okay. Easy. Done. Painted. Amazing. We're finished with By the time we're done, that will be dropped. I think so. Which if is not, fantastic. I'll hit it with a hot, with, yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll be, be it'll be great. Remind me, remind Another me. paintbrush. <laughs> 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 now, okay. here's what everyone's here for. Let's, yes. We're all here for this. So we are exciting. working with, we're working with a piece of a sublimation, uh, a sublimation print that yes. hasn't been sitting around for a few weeks now. Yes. I'm very excited to see how it goes. We have seen lots of people excited to to see as well so um, i um and i saw a question about this earlier what printer do we use for sublimation uh, we have a couple of different printers one is the epson workforce 7710 7710 love it and it is a workhorse of a sublimation printer. And what I personally love about this printer over others is the size. Yes. So we are, we can print all the way up to 13 by 19. That's big. Yes. Very big. And the color from the get-go, I didn't have to do like any changing of, the, of colors or like calibrating, so to speak. The color from the get-go is just really amazing. Fantastic. Um, and I'm gonna be a thousand percent honest. We got a sawgrass. Yeah. Super, super, super easy to set up. It, the colors need to be changed a little bit. Yeah. From the very yeah. beginning. So. It's um, different. Yeah, it is. And it was quite a bit more expensive than this one. Yeah, it definitely was. So that's one of the things you want to think about when you're getting into sublimation is, you know, for us, we have been using sublimation. I mean, three offices ago, we had been using sublimation. So it wasn't that sublimation for our team was new but what happened was the trends were like oh like we've got to hop on here it got really hot. it got really yeah. hot really yeah. fast like that's a huge thing also let's talk about another thing that people are dying over one person commented now everyone's commented your nails apparently need a moment like everyone has commented about your nails i'm just going to scroll up so you can kind of see some of this like people are wanting to know about your your nails can we talk about my nails i will be 100 percent honest with you all right now <laughs> i'm four weeks past wow. my, yes because my poor little nail lady got sick and had to reschedule my appointment so if you oh, look really no. close they look really rough wow. but i do still love the color thank you all <laughs> I'm going tomorrow, friends. No they, worries. Going tomorrow. Wow. Okay. They, they loved it nonetheless. Thank you all. You all are the sweetest, as always. Now, before we jump in, Becca, mm -hmm. let's talk ink real quick. Okay. Um, the Sublimation ink. I know, and it has totally left my mind. We will come back Sub, to Sub, yes. What is the name of it? I mean, some use the Cosmo, the Hippo. We do have the Cosmo. We also have Starcraft. Yeah, there's a uh -huh. lot of ones that we're trying to we're trying to create some benchmarks for you guys yes. at, to talk about the exact ink. But we haven't had any ink that I think is like that we hate. No. So that's none. one of the best parts about sublimation. Absolutely. I think, so there far. are a lot of different price ranges of ink. Yes. Um, this is the same one that we always use for sure. Yeah. What does the word sublimation mean? I was going to Google it. That's just a so great question. A, Give us a very exact. I know. Yeah. I wanted to find, that's what I was already Googling over here. So sublimation is the transition of a substance directly from the solid to the gas state without passing through the liquid state. Um, so it's a, it's a chemical process, Becca, like yeah. it is very, um, you know, it's, that's really neat. So what I love is like feeling sublimation projects. <laughs> like it, it, you have to it, feel it to understand honestly, it. Honestly, yes. I tried to explain it to my mom and she was like, that's great, Becca. And then when I gave her something that was sublimated, she was like, oh, this actually is great. Right. That, that's what is. happens. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is not like a garment transfer. This is not a vinyl. This is no. something you will never have worked with yes. before. If you've never worked with it, you just have to experience Lots it. Lots of friends use Cosmos. So if you are new to sublimating, maybe try that one. I think yeah. that's a great we idea. We love that. Okay. So I I printed this huge, I just cut the area that I wanted and I'm laying it face down. Um, I could grab some heat resistant tape if I want to, but I think I'm going to be really careful and yeah. not move it around. It's going to oh, be yeah. fine. This is going to be great. I have my easy press preheated to 400 degrees and I'm <laughs> just going to put it right on top. Ooh. 
press this and we'll do it for right around 50 seconds. I love this picture in picture right here. We get to see yes. Becca, we get to see the Cricut Easy Press, we get to see all of it. Um, I would make this on the diagonal. Alma, you know what? I probably should have because when I pick it up, it's going to be diagonal. So if I had done it intentionally, yeah. it probably would have hurt It's fine. Less. It's A fine. sub paper. Kimberly, that is what we use here as well. Love it. Um, can you buy sublimation already printed out? You, There are some... I mean, that is a Cricut Infusible ink. Mm -hmm. And I think that was like a help of a great kickstart to yes. sublimation here in the but Cricut world. But some, some shops like on Etsy yes. that have designs will already print out sheets for Fun. someone. However, if you're a Makers and a Learn member and are buying sublimation sheets from someone, I want to just say, It'll Shame pay for on you. <laughs> you can you pay for your membership. Available. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We have lots of patterns, and you guys wouldn't believe all the cut falls that a are already meant to be print and cut, whether mm -hmm. it's sublimation or not, or cut falls that can be flattened down. So if you're considering membership today and you want to be a well-rounded crafter, definitely grab a membership. Or yes. you may be here saying, "Hey, I'm already a great crafter. I want to take it up a notch." Does that make sense? Either way, you want to go. Tita asked a great question. Did we have to paint the pumpkin with any clear substance Ooh. beforehand? The answer is no. There was no prep Ooh. like spray or poly or anything like that um, to prep this wood. But I actually oh. moved it a little bit. You probably already saw it. Oh, uh, she's cute. Uh, she's cute, Tanner. Did you see I it? I saw it. So I saw one it. cool thing that I like about sublimation is that when you remove, you can always see yeah. through the paper. I think that's pretty cool. But look at this. Love it. Look at that. <gasps> Now that green, I mean, all the colors come through so well on the wood. They do. Like they that's do. what's crazy to me. I love that's it. what's crazy to me. Now we have a friend saying, hey, can I use the mini press with sublimation? It's a great question. Like you have this big easy press out here. Could I do this? The problem with using your mini is that it's so small, you would have to just pick it up and move it, pick it up and move it, pick it up and yeah. move it. And a lot of times that will create shadowing. Yes. Um, or you'll accidentally move the image. Yeah. I do not recommend using a mini for no, sublimation. I, I understand. I, I normally am pro mini for everything except sublimation. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Every, every other project you're going to love that mini for. Um, but sublimation, I say bigger the better. A 15 yes. by 15 easy, uh, heat press, go for it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Guys, I just want to point out, Penny, Tanner's amazing little puppy, has been Hi, in here Penny. the whole time, and she is the best dog ever. She, you, I mean, you all didn't even know she was here. Yeah, she has not been welcome to the office lately until Courtney brought her today. I was very happy to see so her. So, she's been Does the wood need sanding? I, this came to us, um, it's definitely, It's. I wouldn't say it's sanded wood, but it's not rough wood yeah. either. So either way. Yes. Just make um, sure if it is rough, you sand it. And Jess comments, how in the world did y'all learn all this? Hashtag of my heroes. <laughs> you all are the best. Absolute oh. best. Okay, this is actually pretty dry tanner, so I'm gonna move forward with it. So Kat's wanting to know sublimation on the table, will it come off? What is, what is underneath you? Just let everyone know. Yeah, it is a- um, This piece of ca cardboard. Yes, it's yeah, poster, board. poster board. Poster board. Love that. Yes, because if you'll notice right here, Show us, show I'm us what not to do. Of, yeah, don't do this. Don't do, don't that. do this. Don't do that. So where my overlap was, yeah. don't do that. I've so say you have the original Easy Press. It mm -hmm. goes up to 360 degrees. Becca, is that okay for sublimation? I, I don't think it's hot enough. I, I don't think it's gonna be. I think 385 vibrant. would be the least that yeah. I would do. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, For I'm sure. so sorry. I know. I'm so sorry. Okay, so if you all have not used wood glue before, I was shocked game by, changer. by how quickly it dries too. It sets really fast. It does. And my dad is a woodworker. I've been around like this my whole life, and I just didn't like. He always does the gluing. Yeah. I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. But I was really impressed. I thought this was gonna take forever. Um, this Gorilla wood glue, hands down, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and it lasts a long time. You don't need a ton. I like this nozzle because it's kind of a long skinny. Um, so it's easy to just apply and not have it open here. Mine gets gunked up really quick. Like oh, it, got yeah, it. you got it. Yay. Got it. Okay. You should be able to like hear it like yeah. passing through. Perfect. There we go. So I'm just going to put a really thin layer and it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be over Perfect. all of yeah. it. Another thing that I like to do if I'm working with teeny, teeny, tiny area 
is to put a little glob like right here and then grab a paintbrush and smooth it out into the other spot. Yeah. However, this is big enough, I don't need to do I that. I love that. Jacqueline's saying, can I buy the blanks at Dollar Tree to do sublimation? If it is, you know, you can use any thin sanded wood mm -hmm. and any polyester fabric. Yeah, so absolutely. So lots of options. Absolutely. And can you use a heat press to do sublimation? Jacqueline, yes, yes. You will be able to rock sublimation with a heat press. I say bigger, the better. Debbie, like, sees butcher's paper. I bought a lot of it years ago. Um, when we had a summit and I have taught sublimation. So it's been a go-to for us as well. Yeah. We love that. Um, I didn't mention this and I should have. What I would do with these letters, since it isn't all one word and you want to definitely make sure you get your spacing correct, go ahead and lay out all of the letters here and then pick up individually and lay back down. Great idea. Right. I would have totally, look at Becca, pull out some of reverse, reverse tweezers. tweezers. Look at that, look how effortless, effortless this that. is. Love that. It's because my fingernails are so long, I can't really <laughs> grab. I'm afraid they're going to get in the way. Well, <laughs> even I would have issues with just trying to perfectly position. And Kim, Ooh, is the wood treated with there. polyacrylic? No, it is not treated. This is raw wood, which is fantastic. Yes. And uh, yeah. So if you're talking mugs, you have to have a special sublimation mug that is flat and that can fit in the mug press or whatever mm -hmm. press you're using. So be careful there. Um, great, great question. And I will friends. say not all sublimation mugs are created equally. Correct. We love to find off brand products for mm -hmm. you all. However, the ones that we have tried it, tried it, tried, <laughs> do not uh, measure up to the cricket That's ones we true. tried. Yeah. That's so true. just being a hundred percent honest with you all, it is worth. Aaliyah experimented submission. with magnetic sheets and it does in fact work. So Jennifer's wanting to, us to recap. So you didn't prep the wood with anything, laminate, poly coating, sublimated, raw wood. Yes, Correct. Jennifer. Nothing at all. Fantastic. Love, love, love. Yeah, I wish I had a tiny, you're gonna wanna clean up. I got really careless with this wood glue right here and you're going to wanna clean that up. Grab like a little um, paint brush or something like tip. that. Great little tip. Yeah, a little tip. Clean that up so it's not, gunky and weird now beth says my hand shakes which is the worst any recommendations for someone who has that issue in terms of precision placement i think if you've tried the reverse tweezers that kind of helps I, like I go fast i would say if, because you, know, you can hold your hold your wrist like yeah. this with it and then just kind of place it right over because my hand's shaking right now yeah um but it would work it would work. Love it. Maybe stabilize your hand for sure. Yeah, that, that would be great. If the reverse tweezers, it seems silly. It will work fantastic. Yes. And then Teresa wants to know, when you finish, do you have to seal the wood after you're done? So if I were going to put this outside like in the elements or even like under my porch where there might be moisture or something like that, I probably would do a light coat of poly over it just so that it, it doesn't like get moisture and maybe run or yeah. something like that. However, if I'm using this in my home, I'm not selling it. Yeah, for I would sure. Leave it just not. like that. It look, it's amazing. And Jacqueline says, I'm loving this live. It's my first one and it has helped me understand sublimation so much more. You guys are great. Welcome, Thank Jacqueline. You. We're so excited that you are here with us today. If you are not a member's gonna member's gonna learn. Members gonna learn. What is what, what everybody's what, 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 gonna what, what, learn? Everyone. Every, that's what we should name it. <laughs> Everyone's gonna learn. If you are not a makers gonna learn member, I do want to invite you to go ahead and click the link that Tanner is providing for you. Use that code flash30 to grab $30 off the best membership in the craft industry. We really do have such the a great most community. Amazing community. Yeah, it's most the bomb. amazing community. It's the bomb. You guys are yeah. the best. Now, let me go ahead, Becca. It's time to announce <gasps> the oh giveaway God, winner. I know. Let me pull up the name. I am so, so excited today yes. um, for this friend. And it is da, 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 Glamper Jan. Glamper Jan. Glamper Jan. She comments, Miss the Love would love Illustrator. Thank you for Glamper the giveaway. Jan. Congratulations. We are so excited for you. Yes. Email our customer service department, hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Let us know what email, well, I guess when you're emailing us, we will have Let us know your, sh your, well, oh, it's nothing to ship. Yeah, it's electronic. We Let will, us know you won. Yeah, we need to know your email. But we do have to know your email address. So you yeah. do have to send it email. <laughs> anyway, we want to get that sent yes. out to you. Um, we're excited. If you are not a Design Make Cell member, you're going to want to be, especially with, uh, for sure. this awesome illustrator, illustrator award. I'm super excited Yay. for you. I love it. Love it. Love it, my friends. Amazing. Do we have anything else, Tanner? Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. What is the name of the tool holder? The tool holder. So you all know. 
This is one of my favorite things in the world. I have a million of these now. It is by <laughs> Zacarius Engineering. Um, we have some links on some of our posts, videos. Um, if you can't find yeah. it, email us. We'll help you out. Zacarius sure. Engineering, they are a 3D printer company. And this one specifically is called the Tiffany Tool Caddy. Love and that. we love it. Yeah, Check that's fantastic. Everyone's so excited. Sublimation printer we use share last. Yes, this one that it's a huge one in the floor, like massive. It's the Epson Workforce 7710. And we also have a couple other that we are testing out for you Yay, all we're to so give excited. you all of the info. Can you sub on any untreated wood? So Jennifer, this wood was untreated. So Crazy. absolutely 100 percent it works beautifully we've even done like purples and pinks on it it's super vibrant super beautiful um sublimation works on it and feasible ink works on it we've done the testing do it you'll love it you won't regret it did you love move that. in your new house yet tanner i have not we will be moving in the middle of october we're super so fun. excited we have lots to paint so they're gonna be painting for a little bit and then we'll be moving in but courtney brought up a hot topic with me and becca yesterday that i wasn't even ready I was for i I like almost like I I wasn't away. sure if she was joking or serious, so I had to wait a moment. I, I mean, I was, I, yeah. So the que so just to let everyone know, Courtney wanted to bring up not painting the house like white, 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 which is what she does, which is what we've done in both of our properties that we've had before, and like, I mean, I'm not opposed. It's just I feel like. Now that I think of that, there's more shades, and I've always known there's more shades, but now that we're starting to bring that in, how are we going to pick the the right white, Becca? That's the thing. Like, I, I, that's what I said. Grab and don't, don't like test them out in your current house. Test them out in every in room oh, of the gosh. other house because you're going to want to love that. Like, that's a yeah. lot of painting. Yeah. yeah. We're I mean, thinking, I'm pro it. I love we're a little bit warmer. adding, going ahead and painting the inside the same as we're painting outside. Because you wouldn't want to paint the outside of a home exactly white. Right? Like I wouldn't. No. We, and we already yeah. decided that. Yeah. But there's this white that we think is kind of perfect. So, that's, so that's what's it happening. Inside. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's what's happening yeah. in our life, y'all. I hope you all are having an amazing Monday. If you're just tuning into the live... Go watch it. This was so yes. much fun, and it is so much uh, goodness you'll learn in today's stream. So, yeah. Lorraine says, headed to Michael's to get some wood cut I love that. Can't wait to see what you uh, do. Make sure you post it. I know you will. Yep. You're amazing. That's amazing. Thank you all so much for joining in with us. This really was super fun. Uh, we did mention it will be live here on Wednesday with Miss Mary Catherine talking about Procreate Design Excel, and she's Yay. amazing, and you're going to love her. She's the cutest person she's adorable. ever. She's adorable. So adorable. And she's really really good at procreating. Yeah. She's been with us since the first collection we ever launched of Makers yes. Learn. Um, so she's got to learn a lot. Um, you're going to love it. Amazing. Tanner, Courtney is the boss. Exactly. I mean, whatever he she says, that. I just get in, I just say, okay, like that's just how it goes. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you all on Wednesday. Have a fantastic day. Yay.